Welcome back to channel everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about how you can stream your MS form data to Power BI using Power Automate. So the requirement we have is this is my feedback form which I've created and what I want every time I submit a response, I should get that response into my data sets and I should create a report out of it and it should be a live one. Let's just talk about how we can do that. I have form already created. I'm in my Power BI web version right now. You can perform this action into your desktop version as well. I'll go into my workspace here. You can choose any of the workspace in case you want to do this into a specific workspace. There you have a new option. I'll click on this streaming data set. There is an API option I'll select. Click on the next and I have to provide the data set name here. I've given it form responses and in the value from stream is I have to provide all these feedback form values. So I'll select this. What's your name? And you have to select the type as well. Whatever I have selected here in your Contact number is number for me and uh, date of attendance is date time which training you attended is text was it helpful prefer training time and uh, in the rating I'm going to select this as a number let's see I'll enable the historic data analysis so that I can create report out of it you can see that a payload has been generated in the JSON format I'll click on create there you have raw JSON here there is CUR and PowerShell as well but we don't need that one I'll click on done here and if you can see that we have option to create a report out of it I'll select my pie chart and in the value let's suppose I'm uh, capturing the response of date of attendance in the value directly and the next one I'm creating is this donut chart and here I'm capturing was it helpful part and uh, one more here and here I'm going to provide which training do you attended so it will be our value and then the legend as well i can save my report forms responses reports if you go to your workspace now you'll see that data sets and the report is here next thing what i have to do is i have to go into my power automate here create instant flow skip the step forms to power bi select ms form here trigger point when the form response submitted form id will be your form name in my case it is feedback form next step is forms get response detail Form ID is again my form name. Response ID will be a list of response notifications response ID. 
once that is done next step I'm gonna say BI you can select power BI there is a two option I have to select add row to data set click on this one and now you have to select the workspace as you know my workspace name is my workspace and the data set name I have created as inform responses and table name for me is real-time data which I have not created so automatically created and now you have map all these column name with their form responses your full name against this your contact number date of attendance which training did you attended was it helpful and that's it I'll save my flow and I'll go in my form here click on the preview I'll submit two or three responses at the same time submitted one response I'll submit another one now I have submitted a couple of responses I'll go in my flow and in the history I'll see that all the run has been successful I'll go into my this power BI and you can see that I have all the responses captured here in case we are not getting it we have to just refresh your browser and you'll see all the responses here and now you can pretty much play with your data sets because all all of your data you have into your data set and you can edit this one and can generate a report out of it and once your report is created you can uh, pin this to your live page or new dashboard you can create here you can see that it has been pinned to your dashboard here this is how your dashboard looks like and you can share your report to SharePoint Online user as well by embedding this into your SharePoint Online pages. For that, you should have the Power BI Pro license. One thing which I want to talk about here is if you go in my responses section, I have 16 responses here. But the latest response which I've submitted is these one. All other responses I had is the previous one what this entire process is doing it's only capturing the live one which was submitting right now and we are getting the report out of it not the historic one we can either export this into Excel online and can connect that uh, Excel online with our power BI and embed a scheduled refresh there so I'm gonna do this in my next video I'll provide link in description you can check that out as well thank you so much for watching have a good day